I hope you like what you see so far on this premiere. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a lot of fun making these videos. Uh, I uh, What I did is I shot a video every day uh, this week, almost every day, and uh, try to get it edited, put together, and all that stuff. Uh, it's kind of tough with the work schedule that I have. As you know, if you're subscribed to this channel, you already know that whole story, right? You already know all that. Uh, Ibanez. Uh, why am I a uh, Ibanez player um, as of now, as of late? Um, I've had a couple people ask, you know, hey man, what's what's up with the with the whole Ibanez thing? What's uh, did you abandon your EVH guitars or any of your other stuff? Primarily EVH guitars, and no, no, I haven't. Um, I've always loved Ibanez guitars since you know since I first started playing in the in the uh, mid '80s. Uh, Ibanez has always been a great uh, playing guitar for me. It's always felt good in my hands. It's just it's been like a glove on a hand. It's just fit perfect. Uh, I feel that uh, you know over the years there was uh, I just you know I couldn't afford them. You know I mean if you wanted one of the top tier Ibanez guitars like Steve Vai, you know Jim, uh, it was. It was out of my out of my grasp. There's just no way. And now I feel that uh, they're making a lot of uh, Ibanez guitars that are uh, for the working man, so to speak, such as myself. Uh, you know, like uh, what's this? What's that company that's getting a lot? Harley Benton. Harley Benton's getting a lot of attention right now uh, for their guitars. Uh, uh, let's see. Has anybody heard of Guitar Max? Uh, it's a YouTuber named Guitar Max. He's really great channel, uh, incredible player. Uh, he and not endorses, but I think he uh, he talks a lot about Harley Benton in some of his videos, and he reviews uh, quite a few of those guitars. And also, though, I think now I haven't played a Harley Benton. I haven't I haven't tried one of those guitars. I haven't put my hands on it. Or I've just uh, 
seen seen them on YouTube, you know. But you know, a lot of it, it, don't get me wrong. A, a well built guitar can help can help you play um, if you have some playing time under your belt. But a a, a well well made guitar, you know, can influence you to keep pushing forward with your guitar playing ability. Uh, that's for sure. I mean, uh, I've always, I heard, uh, I read a quote in a guitar magazine one time. Uh, I'm going to paraphrase it. John Mayer said, you know, he loves getting a new guitar because that's inspiration and he'll write a new song when he gets a new guitar. Man, I couldn't tell you that. I was like, I thought I was the only one that felt that way because it <laughs> happened to me quite a few times with, uh, you know, with like, you know, 25 guitars laying around here I, i'd get a guitar and i'd be like man let me write a song or or uh let me practice for an extra couple hours you know it's just you know uh a guitar player understands that logic you know uh it's just it's just built in you you know if it's what you love to do but but harley benton um i've never tried them i've heard uh great things about them but you know companies like that are giving the big guys uh, a run for their money uh, they're seeing that people are going to these other guitars um, that are, from what I'm seeing on YouTube, are, are pretty well made for the money. Uh, I'm sure they're lacking in some areas, you know, maybe pickups or tuning keys, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not a professional reviewer of, of anything, but, but um, uh, there's got to be a slight something going on with the quality somewhere it doesn't have to be nothing major i've had my dealings with with uh poor guitars that were you know two hundred dollars 150 dollars i even bought a 99 dollar guitar it was a telly one time and it was by a, a brand called jay terser and uh that was like the lowest tier they had you could see these on ebay all day long just go on ebay and type in jay terser electric guitars and you'll see uh anything like i said from the 99 dollar range up you know i did have a uh, les paul style uh it was a jay terser and it was uh it was beautiful it had a purple flame top uh gold hardware and it had a, a snake on the fretboard and then they called that guitar the purple serpent and it was heavy like a les paul now that guitar i uh that was years and years ago I, I actually bid i was bidding against another guy on ebay and it got down to the last second and uh and when it got down to like to the last five seconds i submitted my bid for like you know, a couple of dollars lower or whatever and i got it back then that was that was in the early 2000s or something you know uh back then that guitar off ebay was like three 365 something like that didn't come with a case or nothing that was a and that guitar played great i wish i still had it but i sold it uh i sold it on ebay quite a few years ago and uh that's a guitar i'd like to to purchase again you know if, if i ever could uh it was great anyway uh so i've had my dealings with guitar uh brands that that weren't fender uh ibanez you know uh all these others, you know, Gibson, whatever. And, um, but yeah, it's it still comes down to uh, a brand that's been around a long time. They have a good reputation of making good instruments, good quality instruments. And uh, but Ibanez is is I don't know. Ibanez has always done something for me. It's just uh, it just always has, you know. So anyway, that's just a little backstory. You know, I've uh, I've always been partial to Ibanez uh, throughout my whole guitar playing. Uh, not career but you know history whatever you know so uh anyway that's about all i got right now so let's get back to the premiere thank y'all for watching i appreciate it if uh oh and don't forget to check out the store my merch store and uh you'll see the links below don't forget to check it out we got some brand new uh here we go the dave and joe show t-shirts those are brand new um and there's other there's other uh, items as well, different shirts. You know, this is the black where it's faded. Look, look at it. The the uh, it's, I've had this shirt for so long, and you can't even see where it says the Joe Wentz Pride. It's faded. You know why? Because I'd be sitting down for you know playing guitar so much. It actually just I mean over over the years, it just <laughs> it rubbed it off. Because I always had a guitar, always had a guitar on my chest. You know, always holding a guitar, wearing a guitar, whatever. 
Um, but check out the merch store, man. We got uh, some great things in there, some new items. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, like I said, the Dave and Joe Show uh, t-shirts. Uh, uh, Dave and I are very happy uh, with the new show. Uh, and we hope to continue moving forward with that. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, back to the premiere. I've talked enough. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you next time. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.